Rick Hansen is almost at the end of the road. I'm excited. I mean, you know, I feel like a little kid just before Christmas. But with the joy are worries. What will he do when the daily routine comes to a sudden end? He says he probably won't want to continue as the spokesman for the disabled. He's intensely private and feels two years in a fishbowl is enough. Besides, he says, it's up to everyone to care for the disabled. Hansen wants to return to wheelchair sports and be a teacher, maybe even in the Soviet Union or China. There's a, there's a strong possibility of being able to go back there. And he wants to get into business. Does that include endorsements? Uh, I don't want to uh, obviously exploit the tour for anything, and, and yet um, I still have to go on with my life, so it's going to be a fine line. Hansen's biggest worry is what to do with the donated money. He now estimates there will be $15 million. That will generate about $1 million a year in interest. He'll pick a team of experts to advise him how to use it, but the final decision will be his alone. And already he's being criticized for not wanting to put it all into the search for a cure. And, uh, there may be critics from all sides, but I'm going to try to support uh, spinal cord research, rehabilitation, wheelchair sport and recreation, and also ongoing awareness programs. Have you, have you still uh, have a hope for a cure? Sure. I mean, I'd love to be able to walk again. But um, I'm not going to sit back. I'm not going to sit back and dream of uh, one day having a chance to walk again and realize that in the process that I've, that I've lost uh, 40 or 50 years of my life. Hansen still has 300 miles to go to reach his goal of going round the world. But already his sights are on goals beyond the finish line. Henry Kowalski, CTV News, Penticton.